In this episode, we'll be talking about the new pipe method on the process facade, preloading tag fields on Laravel Nova, the new RM servers on Forge, and delete failed jobs on Laravel Vapor. The latest version of Laravel introduces a new pipe method to the process facade. This can be very useful if you wish to pipe a command is output into a different command. As example, here I can cut the file.txt to grab the word Laravel. And sure enough, if I run this process, I get to see the word Laravel on the terminal. Laravel Nova has a tag field, which is useful to do things such as attaching roles to a specific user. However, previously, in order to see the options of this tag field, you would actually have to type something on an input. Luckily for us, the latest version of Nova allows us to preload all the options of the tag field meaning that if I refresh this page and I click on the form input, I get to see immediately all the options of this form input. As you may know, Laravel Ford supports different cloud providers. One of them is Hetzner, and Hetzner recently announced the availability of RM-based cloud servers. These servers are known for its performance but also for minimizing your costs. As expected, you may now select this type of servers when creating an Hetzner server directly from Laravel Forge. Last week, we have introduced the possibility of visualizing failure jobs directly from the Vapor.es dashboard. However, a feedback we got from our customers is that it can be a cumberstone to delete failure jobs one by one. So this week, thanks to that feedback, we are now having the possibility of deleting all the failure jobs at once directly from the Vapor is dashboard. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next week.